Ever been lost on a website? Just clicking around feeling like you're in a digital maze? Don't let that be the fate of your website. Create clarity and bring down bounce rates by visualizing each step before you build with user flow diagrams. In this video, we're peeling back the layers of this super useful development tool, the silent ninjas of the UX design world. First, we'll hit you with the definition, then get into the exact steps to take to make your own user flows, followed by key types of user flows to know and the big difference between them and user journeys at the end. Definition. A user flow is a flowchart that maps the complete pathway your site or app user takes from their entry point to accomplishing their goal, every decision point. They're more than just pretty diagrams. A user flow can turn an overcomplicated signup process into a clear, frictionless experience, for example, and ultimately keep your entire site's experience intuitive. User flows streamline planning, make team collaboration easier, and allow you to optimize your site for specific goals. Here's how to build one. Step one, do user research and understand the customer journey. User flow is part of the bigger journey a user takes towards their goal, and understanding that is the key to creating a crisp on-site or in-app experience. To create effective journey maps, build them around a specific user persona. Step two, define your goal and the user's goal are you looking for sales, newsletter signups, more subscribers? What are your users trying to accomplish? Some will be looking to buy, some are signing up for trials, others may want your lead magnet. The alignment of your goals and theirs is what leads to seamless user flow. Step three, determine how users find you. Optimizing the entry point is key because it tells you a lot about user needs and motivation. A person arriving via a paid ad is going to have different intent than someone coming directly to your page, you know. Sift through Google Analytics and your CRM to source where folks are coming from. Step four, sort out what info users need and when. Someone who arrives via an email to your product landing page is going to be further along in your funnel than someone who hits the same page from a Google search. They'll both want different things from the page. The one coming from Google will likely be looking for more info, so link to pages that provide it, while people coming from an email may just want a smooth, frictionless checkout process. Create flows for both. Step five, map the user flow. Once you've established a thorough understanding of your users, what they need, and how they're finding you, jump into Slick Plan and drag and drop your way to a perfect pathway. Step six, share, get feedback, and finalize. Bring in the important players on your team and your clients and examine this thing from all angles. All angles. Incorporate feedback and get it into development. What are the types of flows that you'll be working with? Task flow, which maps the steps a user takes to complete a specific task. Wire flow, which is a combo of user flow charts and wireframes focused on basic page UI layouts. Customer journey map, visualization of a customer's complete experience with your company. And that brings us to the user flow versus user journey distinction that I mentioned earlier. User flows are zoomed in on the step-by-step -step of a particular task or goal, like onboarding. User journeys encompass the entire user's experience with your product or service, considering all touch points and emotions starting from initial brand awareness. User flows are pieces of the user journey. And there you have it, user flows and how to make them. Get started with Slick Plan today and turn that maze into an amazing user experience. With user flows locked in, you'll want to make sure your site's architecture is in alignment. Click here and I'll show you how to plan it without the headaches. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more valuable tips and tricks.